Hello and welcome to Oasis Lactation Services on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about something called the two shirt method. And this is a way of discreetly breastfeeding um, where we have two shirts on and we can kind of figure out our clothes a little bit more. Um, discretion of course is always in the eye of the beholder and the person breastfeeding. So usually the feedback that I get from most parents who use the two shirt method is that it's really saving their back and tummy area from getting cold. Um, and you can kind of keep, well, I have a muff, little tiny muffin top, um, but it kind of keeps that muffin top uh, closed in. So you can see this is the breast that's the most engorged. So this is the one we're gonna feed on first. So I've got my baby, I tell the baby to wait. Um, so I've got a tank that's real stretchy underneath my love breast milk top. So I can just roll this up. I've got my tank on, I can flop out the breast, and then I'm completely covered, um, covered in the back, so I don't get cold, and the breast can kind of come out in between the two shirts. So all this neck and chest area is nice and warm, um, all my tummy area is covered, so when I'm going out in public, I can nurse a little more comfortably and stay a little more dressed this way. So this is the traditional two shirt method with that stretchy tank underneath and the bigger flowier shirt on top. So I'm gonna just detach my breast real quick. Um, and then on my mannequin today, toss that to my breast. Um, my mannequin is for maybe a little cooler climate because you could do this method with a t-shirt um, over the tank if the weather is really warm or even like a gauzy shirt over the tank if the weather is really warm so that you get plenty of airflow. But if you're in a colder climate, um, which I've done breastfeeding support in very hot climate of Atlanta and very cold climate of Minneapolis, um, you may want to do a base layer plus a cute top. So our mannequin has the base layer of a long sleeve t-shirt and this is, we're gonna roll it up here, this is a long sleeve v-neck. That way you can just easily pull down and expose either breast um, and then our cute top on top is our World Breastfeeding Week We Can Do It shirt. So for this set setup, we would just roll up, pop out, and latch on. Um, and then again, that whole tummy area is covered, the back is covered, our long sleeves are on, and then that top part of the chest is covered too if you're especially trying to stay really warm. Um, you may want to you know, add like a scarf or something to really keep you warm, but sometimes those things can kind of fall onto the baby and baby starts to pull on your clothes and things. So that's why the two shirt method is so nice. Um, you don't have to choose a V-neck for the base layer, but I do find that it helps, particularly, uh, you know, the material is gonna be quite stretchy. Um, and I wouldn't invest a whole lot of money in your base layer tanks or long sleeve V-neck tops. We're pulling them and kind of using them differently than uh, they were originally designed. So the material is very, very likely to get overstretched and it's probably gonna be a top that you toss um, once you meet your breastfeeding goal. Um, other thing to consider is how do I do this two shirt method in the carrier? So let me grab my Ergo. So this is how I, nursed my kids most of the time. Um, they did not like to stay home and neither did I and I took them to work with me. So I wore my children in a carrier a lot and I breastfed them in a carrier a whole lot. So here's the pro move. The base layer gets pulled down so that it stays put and the top layer, sorry mannequin, gets rolled up and then we put the carrier on. Oh, I need to readjust it a little bit. Then we put the carrier on. Now that I've got my layer, ah, clip, already raised, I don't have to untuck it, right? If I clipped it here and it was time to nurse the baby, I'd have to take the baby out, move the shirt, but now the shirt's already mobile. So I've got my mobile shirt, 
put my baby in and I like to lift that up and get the baby right there against that base layer. And I can go ahead and put the baby on. I'm not gonna bother to clip it for right now. So you can see in the side here, if the baby needs to nurse, I can just pull up and then pull out and the shirt's already kind of pre-laid out in a more uh, functional way. Um, and then still, I've got all of my skin covered, so even though I've lifted up this shirt, I'm not freezing um, or exposing more skin than I personally feel comfortable with. A lot of times when we think about breastfeeding in public, the language is centered around seeing the breast. Um, but most parents tell me that they really don't like showing their stomach. Um, it has gone through a lot of changes from a pregnancy and a delivery, and it might not look the way you thought it would look. Um, and that can be, you know, a point of self-consciousness. Um, I probably have told you that you looked really sexy if you were my client. So I think you look great whether you want to cover up or not. However, it's really about how do you feel and how do you want your body to be looked at in public and what do you define as comfortable or discreet or appropriate for your own body and your own personal feeding journey. So I like to have the additional coverage. Also, I don't like when my carrier rubs directly on my skin. Um, and so having that base layer there for the uh, buckles or fabric um, is much more comfortable. So now I can feed the baby. And because I did roll up on both sides, I don't have to do a whole lot of switching around when I switch sides at the breast. So that's a crash course in the two shirt method. Be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and comment on your favorite nursing top or tank because there are products out there that are designed exactly for uh, breastfeeding and chest feeding. And some of them are very, very cool. They are expensive sometimes, but if you know a really great deal or a cool coupon code, share it with a friend, drop it in the comments. We'll see you next time on Oasis Lactation Services on YouTube.